The most common question on my channel is related to should I get a degree in computer science? Should I just do a boot camp? Should I just learn on my own time? Should I get that degree? And in this video, I want to I want to help you answer it. I say help you answer it because I can't answer it for you, but I'm going to give you a few pointers on how to think about a computer science degree if you're considering it uh, depending on what you want to do. But before we get started, I just want to give a quick shout out to Kevin Curian, Andrew Chang, Old Painless, Carrero, Spartan Ghost, and those are just a few of the people who commented on my last video, just showing support, being part of the community, and I really do appreciate it. Every single one of y'all that watched the video, I appreciate it, and I really like reading y'all's feedback on the video or just saying what's up in the comment section. If you're in a CS program or considering it, there's a few questions you got to ask yourself, and that is, what do you want to do? I mean, some people, they just want to get a job, and that's the easiest way because you learn a lot of stuff in your computer science degree, but especially having that piece of paper, that degree that gets your foot in the door and makes you a little bit more credible. And it makes you more credible, maybe not to all jobs. There are plenty of jobs who actually prefer self-taught developers. We'll talk on that later. But it allows you to get your foot in the door, not only because you have a bachelor's degree, but because it shows that employer that you can learn something new. If you can make it through a, a bachelor's in computer science, then you're able to adapt to different situations, and that's a good good uh, trait in an employee. But keep in mind, to be qualified for a particular job, you need to have the skill set more than you need to have the degree. I understand that's a filter process when it comes to applying to some of these places. Oh, don't have a bachelor's degree, let's throw that resume in the trash. But, especially nowadays, it's kind of that's kind of getting turned on its head where many companies don't even care about that anymore if you have a good portfolio that's probably the most important thing and as long as you have good skills and you're able to portray those skills that you have for that job you're applying for that that in theory should be good enough there are other variables that come into play but that people have gotten a job that way is what i'm trying to say but then again maybe that's not why you want the degree Maybe you're just curious about computer science, and this is the easiest way to dive into that. There are plenty of free resources online. I've put together the open source computer science degree, the Python one. I leave those in the bottom, uh, linked in the bottom of like uh, the description of all my videos. And a lot of people really like that resource as long as you audit the courses that are on Coursera and you take the free courses that are there. And sometimes they change up some of those rules so it may not completely be free anymore. I'm not sure. It's been a little while since I checked it but if you're genuinely curious you may not need to dive into college because there's a lot more than just computer science classes in college and it's really expensive you can kind of dabble online it's not the same experience i'll admit but it opens the door into understanding what computer science is all about so maybe you need it for a job maybe you need it or you want to get your computer science degree because you're curious or maybe you're just going to college and you're trying to figure out what to major in, which I understand it may seem backwards where no, you shouldn't go to college and then figure out why you're at college. You should figure out what you want to do. Oh, you need college for that, then go to college. However, that's not how it works all the time. There are plenty of instances where people, they go to college, they don't know what they want to major in, and they're just trying to figure it out. Maybe they take a few intro to computer science courses, intro to whatever other subject course, and they figure out what they want to do with their lives at college. I, that's not a bad plan. I'm not saying it's the most cost-effective plan, but it's not a bad plan. Well, I'll tell you, if you won't have a problem with sitting at a desk for around eight hours a day, sure, taking your breaks here and there, and you're interested in the actual code and working with a development team and doing these, just, just building software with code on the computer, and that, that sounds fun to you, then very well, this may be for you. If that sounds horrible to you, there are plenty of other lines of work that may better suit you. I remember I kind of got a little bit of cold feet when I was in the middle of my computer science degree. I did a whole entire research, uh, uh, a research session, if you will, for like a whole entire week trying to figure out jobs where I could work outside with a computer science degree. So a computer science job where I can work outside and there's not many of those. If you're lucky enough to get one of those, actually, if you're lucky enough to get, if you have something like that or you know anything like that, comment below because I'm genuinely curious because in my research, 
I didn't really find anything except for something with sensors. I don't know. It's been a while since I looked it up. But you're going to be sitting at a desk more than likely. And if that sounds horrible to you, then CS may not be for you is what I'm trying to get at. So that answers the question like, why do you want a CS degree, right? However, there's also the question of what do you want to do with that degree? Do you want to be a web developer, a data scientist, a data analyst, full stack engineer, game developer, so on, a, a, a penetration tester, so on and so forth. There are so many different options. And that's kind of the, the beauty in computer science, but also very detrimental to someone who is indecisive, as indecisive as me. Because if you're anything like me, you're going to struggle trying to figure that out. And, and if you've been following me for years, you've seen that struggle in me trying to figure out what I want to do from iOS development to maybe some, some full stack development to some AI stuff and anything else in between that I forgot about. That's, that's computer science in a nutshell. However, that's a, a, a blessing in disguise because while it, it made it difficult for me to kind of pick an emphasis, I also had all these options where, you know, a kid in a candy store, use that analogy. You can just kind of figure out what you want to do because there are so many options. Having more options is better than not enough, right? But let's, let's take a little bit of a step back. So what do you, what do you want to do? If you want to be a web developer, then a computer science degree can get you there. That is a path. Yes, but there may be other more efficient and more cost effective methods where not necessarily a boot camp, but you can take online courses. And as long as you build a portfolio, then that can allow you to get your foot in the door with different companies. If you want to become a freelancer, or you can show that por portfolio to potential employers and say, Hey, you know, I know how to do, I know how to use JavaScript, HTML, CSS. I, I did bootstrap in this project, or maybe you're a TypeScript person. Maybe you do backend work because with a web developer, I don't know, front end, back end, full stack with the database, I don't know what you wanna do. But some of these directions you can take a computer science degree may really not require a computer science degree. I mean, if you wanna be a data scientist, you probably want a computer science degree. You probably want a master's in computer science, right? You're not necessarily gonna get it when you're just self-taught a, a, a data scientist job, right? And it also kind of brings into the equation whether or not you need the computer science degree, but also will you feel confident in your job without it? Will you be confident enough in your skills without a degree that kind of like, it, it, it'll help your self-esteem if you have that degree behind you because it's something to kind of fall back on in the sense of if you get imposter syndrome, you can say, no, I've studied four years for this in college, I'm ready. And it, and it kind of gives you that sense of hope or, or will and I've slightly touched on this point, but is it worth your time and money? If you are looking for a job, iOS developer, web developer, something along the lines that you can learn if you really dedicate yourself in less than a year, is it really worth it to do four to five years? It took me five years to complete my computer science degree. Is it worth that plus tens of thousands of dollars? to get an iOS developer job or a web developer job for you. Don't get me wrong, there's no other experience like the college experience. So if you want the whole entire experience, then that's one thing. But if you are, are just going for that end goal, then maybe you don't need it. It could help, it, it will help. I've never had a situation where there's a filter process where, oh, this person has a computer science degree, put them in the trash, this person self-taught, let's keep them based solely on that fact, but I have seen the reverse. So it won't hurt to have a computer science degree when applying for a job to get that dream job of yours, but it could hurt in the sense of, you could have been working as a web developer or iOS developer for two to three years by the time you get finished up with that uh, computer science degree. And there's also that question to ask yourself, are you, if you plan to go the self-taught route, are you dedicated enough to teach yourself something for the next eight to 12 months, consistently hours and hours every single week? Or do you need something like a boot camp or a, a computer science degree to get you there. Because it all comes down to you and how you learn in your situation on whether or not a computer science degree is right for you. And I hope this video not only answered questions, but also brought up some questions that you need to ask yourself to really figure out how you wanna go about obtaining that dream job of yours. As always, 
I am going to leave links to free learning resources down in the description, the open source computer science degrees that I told you about. It's not like an official degree program. It's just something I put together on GitHub trying to source all of these free free courses into a single computer a degree that will satisfy a computer science requirements for anything. There's more information if you click those links, if that's something that's interest interesting to you. So if you're new around here, consider subscribing, hit that like button, whether or not you are new around here, and I'll see you on the next video next week sometime.